Hi there! We are now back with another example on dimensional analysis. So for this example, we will be converting 5.00 acres to square meters. So again, we have to remember that we have three key tasks to put always in our mind when we are solving converting factors using dimensional analysis. That is to start with what is given which is 5.00 acres and then we have to remember that we need a conversion factor for us to convert the acres unit into our desired unit which is square meter so we need at least one equivalent statement for us to solve this problem and that equivalent statement is equal to one acre is equivalent to 4,000 for the six point eight. 856 square meters now again this is approximately uh, given to us because this is not your commonly used unit of length usually and this is commonly used in the United States for the acre unit so again we now convert this equivalent statement into the corresponding conversion factor and place it here but remember to properly place on its corresponding uh, position so that you would see the cancellation of units so again our unit that can be cancelled out should be placed in the denominator and the desired unit in your numerator so let us now transform this equivalent statement in the corresponding conversion factor and our conversion factor is now written here again our unit that will be cancelled is placed in your denominator <laughs> and our desired unit here so that is now 4046.856 square meters per one acre and we will now see the cancellation of units so we cancel this out then we cancel this here and we are now left with our desired unit which is in square meters now we, we do the calculation and we are given the following answer equal to 20,234.28 square meters and that is by multiplying 5.00 with 4,046.856 square meters and we arrive at this answer but remember we have to report the correct number of significant figures so we started with three here so our final answer should be written in three significant figures so as transforming this we will be having 2.02 times 10 to the power of positive 4 square meters okay so how do we do it we simply move the decimal place so that we will be able to correct reportly the number of significant figures so we move this to the left one two three four then we have this final answer okay so remember the three key tasks that we need to have in doing dimensional analysis is to have our equivalent statement then we restart with what is given the correct format of your conversion factor and of course before you report your final answer you have to always check the correct number of significant figures so that's it for today thank you for listening and continue learning